lagging. What's up, guys? Um, this is just a fourth show today, actually. Uh, I think I'm actually starting a new show. Um, just l like a fourth show to be doing overall. Um, what? Well, well, after the after the uh, countdown, the calculus moves over. It's gonna be the uh, third show. But uh, I'm thinking about making this one go from you know, maybe just on Fridays. Um. I don't know. I, I probably just do this whenever I feel like it, because you know, it usually goes off the news. Whenever I see something that pisses me off on the news, I'll go rant about it. Um, not sure exactly what I'm going to name it yet, but um, you know, just maybe the rant. I don't know. Because <laughs> here's what this is. Um, I'm gonna pretty much rant about something that's pissing me off. Uh, I was just I, I went downstairs to go get some tea, and I see on the on the news. My mom was watching the news downstairs. And I stopped and watched it for a sec, and there, there are people who are like shutting off heating bills, and I'm, I'm shutting off like heat to houses because they didn't pay their bills, and it pisses me off because it's like they don't even care. I mean, like these people that like, what, what if there is like these really old person, you know, who can't stand that kind of intense cold? What if they're like they're in their 60s or 70s and they can't stand, you know, just that kind of low temperature? You're just gonna let them freeze to death because you didn't—they didn't give you your pocket change. You're gonna sell out for the for the sacred dollar. Fuck you, bitch. You know what if that was your grandma or one of your relatives that couldn't pay their bill for that month? What is that? You are you gonna do that to them? Would it be any different because it was your family? Would you press the button to turn off their heat if it was your family? And, but I, I honestly, I don't think they would. I, I think I think that people just generally do not care for anybody these days. It be, used to be, but back when I was a little ass kid, like before the whole depre like the whole um, recession started, people went out of their way for each other. People would like wait months to pay bills, just and they would keep their heating on. They would keep people in their house if they didn't pay their rent or whatever, and it was just being like courteous to people. And also today, um, I also have uh, potatoes of doom or potato of doom with me again today. Um, how's it going? How's it going? Yeah, and I see uh, he didn't mention one thing. He said you gotta you gotta like think about what what kind of person it is. Is it a lazy person that didn't pay the bill, or is it somebody who really just who can't get help? Yeah, the, because the there's, there's two sides to every story. Every single story has two sides. But when you're thinking about this one. There's, it depends on the people, like, if they don't have any money because they were born into a poor family, if they were born into a poor family and they just weren't successful, I mean, there's, and they tried really hard their entire life, but they just couldn't get there just because they started lacking with the money, I mean, what are you going to do? There's, like, it's a lose-lose situation for those people, but if you're just lazy and you have... I have to disagree, I can't say it's a lose-lose situation because, you know... How, what does it affect you if you turn this person's heat back on or if you let this person stay in their, their rented house for okay, another couple weeks so they can pay you? I mean, these people at these heating companies, trust me, they're not losing any, any sleep over you know, if, if somebody dies because you know, they didn't pay their bill. You know, yeah, and, I skip something. I skip something. Is this heating company a government agency? Most of them are, at least around my area, most of them are. Most of them are oh, running. Yeah, they're, running. Oh, well, yeah, there you go. But even, even the privately only, only one, like, I don't get that. Like, how do you just not care if somebody's going to die? Like, I remember this one story that was in the news a little while ago. This, this lady was having an asthma attack, and her, her little inhaler thing was out. It was, it was, you couldn't, it, there was nothing left in it. So she went, she ran into the store, into this drugstore, and she asked for a refill real quick because she was literally having an asthma attack right there. She couldn't breathe, and you know, she couldn't even talk to the guy. She just said, she was the little sign language saying, "It's out. It's not working." And she was cl clutching her throat. She couldn't breathe, and the guy asked for the money, and she couldn't. She had no money, and he said, "I'm sorry. You need the money." He was literally watching this lady die. He was watching this lady die. She couldn't breathe right in front of his eyes. And he said, sorry, you got to you gotta pay for it. And the, and, just give her and be like, okay, you have to pay this off over a certain amount of time. Right. But he did not care. And the worst part about it, he did not relent up on it. 
And it took a, it took the store manager to come fire the motherfucker and get to give the person hit their Good asthma. For Good for him. Right. And I'm like, you, uh, personally, first of all, the asthma inhalers they cost like five bucks. My cousin, my cousin has asthma. My a lot of my friends have asthma. Trust me, they don't cost much. If you're gonna let somebody die over five bucks, fuck you. You know, I, I think that's sick. You, you, you just, it's like people just completely sell out for a couple of bucks. Now, if it's like 2,000 bucks somebody owes, which, I, you know, that, that's an exaggeration. Nobody probably, no, I don't think any bills cost about 2,000 bucks. But, um, e e even then, you're just going to let somebody possibly die because they didn't pay you. Then you might as well just be considered a murderer. I hope you go to hell. And I don't want to be uploading this video for a few hours, so pretty much all I want to say is honestly, if you know anybody from the heating company, if you know anybody that works that, that just doesn't help people, that is generally just an asshole that, that, in that kind of way, go up to them tomorrow and kick them square in the ass. Just do that. Not eating the balls, that's not gonna hurt them. What if it's a good chick? Uppercut. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, this is Tosh Bono. Love that. Um. Well, th that's pretty much it for today. I just think it's sick that people would let somebody die because they didn't pay you, and it's really it's, it's even more sick when they're dying right in front of you when you know they're gonna die. I mean, like you know, if you're just assuming that okay, well this person's like. He's 23 years old. He'll be fine. He can put. He can sleep with a coat on. You know, first of all, then it's too hot. I don't care how cold it is. It's still gonna be kind of freaking hot with, with with a big leather coat on, or whatever. I don't know. Um, but that just bothers me. It's been the longest fuck. It's, it's been uh, a pretty long time. Oh uh, yeah. Well, I, I, one more thing. I think when our generation, when the people our age, will be running the government and running the freaking world. I think everything's going to be fixed really fast because it seems like our generation just generally cares about people a little bit more. Because right now, the, the, the government, they don't give a shit about the future. They don't give a shit about what's going to happen 30 years from now when we're, when we're running the government, when we're doing what we want to fucking do. And because they'll all be dead by then. You know, it's not, it's not going to concern them because they'll be dead. It's not going to affect them. Why should they care? But that's the kind of sick shit that pisses me off. And if you don't care about the future, you shouldn't be in a fucking in a government position. And that's why I one of the reasons why I think Obama is just a socialist commie bastard. And it's, thank you, thank you. We're gonna end it here because I think we really are running out of time. And we'll see you Sunday. Uh, well, actually. The concert is start. We might do it tomorrow. I'm not sure, but we might. Um, That's not how long that concert is. But anyway, see well, you around. Everybody. I won't be. I won't be. I won't be home till like Sunday morning from the concert, anyways. Oh, it's probably far away. Huh? It's in Cleveland, and it's a mushroom head concert. It's gonna be going all night. Oh. Uh, yeah. All right. Well, I'll see you later. Dude. Um. See you guys.